shoes. Greetings, discreet defenders. Well, today we have a special treat. I believe this is the most powerful of the conventional 9mm rounds. These are the 115 grain Corbon Plus P. And they, you can see the, uh, the stats advertised on the box are suggesting a muzzle velocity of 1,350 feet per second for a muzzle energy of 466 foot-pounds. Um, seems more like a plus P plus to me, but <laughs> we just have the little Taurus GX4 with its three inch barrel and we're going to give them a quick test. Uh, it's snowing just a little bit. Hopefully that does not interfere with our chronograph readings, but let me just show you the design of the hollow point cavity on those Corbon because next up we'll do the gel test. So. Five rounds, Pro Chrono has a brand new battery and hopefully the snow won't mess us up too much. Gonna shoot pretty close, about four feet away. 1120. 1110. 1118. 1114. And 1118, man, that's consistent. Those are nice results. Let's do a quick review. Wow, the snow's pretty deep out here. High of 1120, low of 1110, and an average of 1116 feet per second out of the 3.06 inch barrel of the Taurus GX4. That is some high performance ammunition right there. Good work Corbon. Good work so far. Now we'll see uh, we'll see how they perform in the denim and gel. Well it's 27 degrees out and I have just finished walking a quarter of a mile through knee-deep snow to get my uh, required distance from the nearest road out here in National Forest Service land. So I'm not hiking back for the gel or I'm not hiking back to the vehicle just to pick up a water jug to back this thing with. So we're going to go with what we have and hopefully, hopefully we get valid results on the first shot. Uh, Lucky Gunner tested these with a uh, with the, uh, the FBI cloth barrier, and he found about 13 inches of penetration. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna stop these in that first block anyway. But if not, the bullets are going fast enough that that second block won't have time to get knocked out of the way, and they'll just go into the second block. Or at least that's my theory, my current operating hypothesis right now. Now, I'm struggling in deep snow over here. There's a massive drift, but it's helping me with almost every aspect of this except for where I'm standing is actually laying in a snow drift. So this is going to be fun. Okay, I like that shot placement. And it does in fact appear that we have a complete pass through which is really, really too bad. Knock this thing off. That is a magnificent amount of penetration. But uh, yeah, made a nice clean hole through the four layer denim. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we do have expansion. You know what I'm gonna do? Is a bear gel test and see how much penetration we get there. It does, it almost does have the look of a bullet that has clogged up and over penetrated. So, I mean, the track does. The track almost, my God, I am out of breath still. Man, I'm in bad shape, but knee deep snow for a quarter of a mile and spent the whole winter indoors. 
or on the road. You don't get a lot of exercise driving a car, which is what I do for a living. Um, ob obviously, this ain't paying the bills. Mickey D's ain't paying the way. So I take to the streets with gats. Uh, but gats don't actually pay anything either. Okay. We'll try again, this time with bear gel. Again, getting about five feet back. And we'll see what we do. Try to put this one a little bit lower. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yeah, we captured that one. All right. Wow, man, a little bit of jacket separation. Not, not too surprising for a bullet this magnificently powerful. But yeah, that's gone just about exactly 12 inches. Very interesting. Very nice result. Okay, well, all right. Since there is technically space in this block, I think what I'm going to do one more time, only with two layers of denim. I'm going to lay it down this way again. I don't get so much movement. Because I think, I think that... I think that four-layer bullet did clog up. Um, not 100% sure. But I'll try it again with two. Because these, uh, these are some fun little, uh, fun little rounds. And like I said, Lucky Gunner got good expansion on these. He got, uh, he got all five to expand and penetrate about 13 inches. May have used a little bit longer barrel. I think his test gun is a, is a Glock with a three and a half inch barrel. Probably got a little bit higher velocity. You can head on over to the Lucky Gunner Labs and check that out if you want to. He's, Chris is one of my main inspirations. So I don't mind advertising for him. Plus he's got about a million more subscribers than I do, so who cares? Yeah, that's terrible shot placement. May have gone back over the old track. Uh, no, no, it definitely made its own track. Again, even with two layers, it's gone right through the backer block. Definitely gone over 16 inches. Well, shoot. We'll take out that bear gel shot and put the calipers on it. Let's quit dropping this thing in the snow for now. That's enough of a test of the Taurus's functionality in cold and wet. It passed the Taurus, passed the cold, damp test, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Does seem like it's it's weird. It, it, it does look. Boy, even that, even that track does not look like I achieved expansion. That is a strange result. Uh, definitely got expansion on the bear gel, though. All right. See if the caliper will run. I don't have a new battery in the caliper. Gee, that's probably not good. Ooh, there's the screwdriver for the caliper. Good thing the snow has a crust on it. Uh, whoo! That's as a cold, as a cold, cold caliper battery. <laughs> I can barely get it to zero. <laughs> okay. Dig that puppy out of there. Ooh, ooh, that's no, nope, that is not where, I, not where I want it. Yeah, so this gel block is tough. Yeah, that jacket is coming all the way off. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Now this gel block would freeze by the time I got to the car and back anyway. It's only about 25 out here, maybe 27. Wow, 63 caliber, huge, devastating expansion. On that Corbon bullet. Absolutely magnificent. Really good expansion on the bear gel test anyway. And I do believe, although I can't prove it, that we did not have expansion from the uh, from the clothing barrier from the denim tests. But we will uh, we'll definitely retest that on a on a different day.
So thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week. No issues.